the benefits from the Sultan Kabu's environmental prize is primarily to know that the research programs that we have been conducting in Singharaja uh, are in the right direction at the international level. So through because of that, we ourselves and our collaborators, Professor Peter Ashton from Harvard University and also uh, Professor Mark Ashton from Yale University and the Forest Department, we all have been able to uh, strengthen our collaborations among ourselves and also to uh, draw in more uh, research collaborations uh, and we thanks to that we have been able to uh, uh, start new programs not only in Singharaja but also in other parts of the country and furthermore uh, the education programs that we have been conducting in the field that is Singharaja is one of the best outdoor laboratories in Sri Lanka and also in the whole region. So therefore, uh, it uh, gave us a lot of confidence that our ecological programs, conservation programs are moving in the right direction. Sri Lanka and the Western Ghats of India together is one of the global hotspots of biodiversity, which means that together we have exceptionally rich biodiversity and at the same time this biodiversity is affected due to the habitat loss to a significant level. So one of our major challenges is to reduce this fragmentation and, uh, of this forest and degradation of biodiversity for which uh, we have to uh, improve the connectivity between these small fragments of forest and make them larger areas so that we can restore the biodiversity. Then secondly, equally important is according to the ideals of the Millennium Ecosystem Assessment, the ecosystem services are being provided by forest ecosystems and the surrounding buffer zones and the transition zones. At the same time, they should provide uh, benefits for the well-being of the local people. So our next challenge is how this uh, buffer zone and also the uh, transition zone if of the Man and Biosphere Reserve can be uh, utilized for this purpose. Now some of the research we have done shows that uh, in, uh, in, instead of having these tea plantations which are monocultures to have um, uh, to diversify them using some of the species they have been traditionally using from the forest and incorporating them in their home gardens to have kind of analog forests so that in addition to tea you have other crops as well so that's one way and also the paddy fields you have to have local paddy varieties cultivated so that you don't have simple uh, sort of improved varieties only you have diversified rice varieties including the local varieties then we preserve the indigenous knowledge also by that way so these are the challenges we face in the near future